DDoS, also known as Distributed Denial of Service. When someone wants to shut down your website, they bottleneck your servers so that your normal visitors are denied service. Most DDoS attacks are carried out by botnets, a group of computers which have been infected by malware and have come under the control of a malicious user. These machines are then hijacked and used against whatever service the attackers want. While the computers that make up the botnet are infected by malware, it's important to note that your website is not being infected with malware. The DDoS simply prevents normal traffic from getting to you. DDoSers are not trying to get your passwords, take over your site, install malware, or use your computer for nefarious means. If you are being DDoSed, you are simply being denied service. Why would someone want to do this to you? Well, it could be anything from hacktivism to corporate espionage, or it might be someone wanting to learn cybersecurity and the ins and outs of DDoS attacks. Maybe it's just a bored person somewhere who thinks it's funny and wants to watch the world burn. Regardless of the reasons you may become a DDoS attack target, you should be taking precautions to prevent it from happening to you and your WordPress site. Here's what we recommend. Update WordPress often. This should be a no brainer. Make sure your WordPress installation is up to date. If you're still on version 4.9 and the most current version is 5.3, you're not only opening yourself up to intruders gaining access to your site, but also DDoS attacks. If you keep WordPress updated, you can get the most updated versions of security plugins. And speaking of that, use security plugins. WordFence, iThemes, Security, and many other free options are out there to keep your WordPress installation safe. Make use of them. Most importantly, you need to install a WAF or WAF, AKA a web application firewall. We just did an in-depth video on this topic. But in general, the firewall sets up a perimeter around your server and determines who can get in and who can't. The rules either work on blacklist or whitelist priorities. WAF developers and teams block known botnets, their regions, and IPs. This protects your site from known threats, but if a new threat arises from somewhere else, you may still be at risk. Whitelisting then prevents both of those from happening by only allowing known traffic to access your site. You can't get DDoS because you haven't pre-approved those IP ranges or regions for access to your site in the first place. If your primary business comes from certain countries or regions, this is an effective way to prevent unknown botnets and attackers from accessing your site. Check logs. WordPress logs are something that most users don't know or care about, but if you're at risk of a DDoS attack, keeping logs and seeing where traffic is coming from and any errors that your servers are giving can be invaluable to making sure things stay up and running. Just having a note that at 3.03 a.m., 176 login attempts happen from halfway across the world is enough to warrant your attention. Your host should have logs you can check out and the WordPress codex has detailed information about debug logs that you can brush up on. And there you go. Now you know more about DDoS attacks and what you need to do to stay safe. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.